designated Survivor Season 2, Episode 11, Grief. So this, of course, is the pseudo-depressing uh, mid-season premiere. Of course, things come back, and we, of course, have the loss of the First Lady. So we get to see how things are kind of being handled by, you know, the President of the United States. And I thought it was a pretty good episode for that. Like, he's going through... And you have this guy who is dealing with just loss in general, and it is, you know he's dealing with his, the loss of his wife, and he has to go through this process. And naturally, there's always you know whatever random presidential thing he has to deal with. And in this case, it's um, Wells and Aaron being basically taken hostage along with a bunch of other people. And it's like, all right, well, he's in this weird state of everything has to be protect and not hurt because he's you know he's hurting so much, so he's so focused on protecting lives rather than you know utilizing you know some of the power that he probably should utilize in order to you know solve a situation so as he, he goes through this process of grief where he's in so much pain himself and he talks about the pain of his children and you know a little bit he kind of skirts around it a bit with his um with the therapist but he kind of skirts around the pain uh that he's felt so as he's doing that he's kind of screwing up with this mission that he has where it's like you know a lot of people are saying you kind of need to do this and it's the tough call, but it's currently the right call. But for him, it's like, you know, I'm more concerned about preserving life because of what he just went through. So I like the way that they handled that as he went through and the judgments that he was making that weren't exactly the best, you know, good intentions. But ultimately, it was more based on how he felt versus what should actually happen in that situation. So I like the way that that was handled. I thought it was pretty fun. And of course, by the end, he's at least capable of, you know, dealing with the grief he gets, you know, through all the different stages and everything. And he makes the right call by the end. They basically shut all that stuff down. Everybody's totally safe and everything's fine. I was like, oh, well, you know, that totally, you know, perfectly resolved. They threatened them, you know, the, um, the terrorists. And it was like, all right, we're going to do this. We're going to move them in. Either, you, you know, you guys let them go or we will hunt you down and destroy you. And I was like, all right, well, you know, they backed off. You know, uh, Hannah basically says she gives them kind of the sign with the dude cross. And it's like, he's basically working uh with the government to set all this stuff up to get money and do all you know, all these different things and i just love the way they kind of ended it where it was like yeah we're not going to help you because we already have proof of this and all the files have basically been uploaded to your entire country everybody knows you're a bad person see ya and that was pretty much how that ended and i was like that was actually kind of cool and it was also just really funny where you know i was like you know so what do we do next and it's like nothing because we know what you're doing and we know exactly what you did so you're screwed so everything was solved there but I, I definitely enjoyed that uh Lior had an interesting storyline with the new assistant I thought you know Lior he's just really weird and funny so I like that character I don't know if we'll actually get to see a lot of her but I like her character where she talks you know basically by the end she actually gets exactly what he was looking for which no one had actually done and um I love the line where she says I would find uh the plans to Atlantis if that's what you asked me to do because she's not living her dream so I was like well, that that was a cool line and I'm kind of excited to see what they do with that if they decide to you know utilize her as a character but i thought that was cool we get to see a little bit of what's going on with our our newest so i guess technically our only couple at this point and kind of the relationship struggles that they're going through where it's like this weird in between where it's like well we can go on this uh vacation and then you know they're having like issues at work and stuff so they're kind of going through that so we don't really know where it's headed like even by the end of the episode it's kind of just like don't know so it, it's definitely up in the air uh right now but all in all, I thought it was a pretty good episode to come back on. Naturally, the ending, we do find out that uh, the British dude, uh, Damien, is actually alive. He comes back and he sees Anna at the end of the episode. And it's like, yeah, we need to talk. So based on the promo, he might actually be a good guy, which is super insane. So I don't know. Yeah, we'll, find, we'll find out exactly what's going on. Maybe he was telling the truth because uh, if I remember right, he did say, like, I was going to tell you this, but then, you know, you kind of busted me before I got to actually tell you. And now he's back so he's back and then it seems like the whole next episode is like this insane terrorist plot is going on i don't know if the, you know i've they haven't done it yet so maybe it, it, he the dude's officially dead but every time something big happens and they're you know even the promo is like yo who's doing this like what's going on i'm like this would be the perfect time we already you know we just had a dude seemingly get shot and fall into you know fall off a bridge he came back to life so it's like all right well we didn't even see this other guy actually get blown up i can't even think of his name anymore um but i'm like i don't you know didn't see the body i'm still kind of just waiting for that confirmation like it's such an easy you know string to pull in writing where it's like we never showed you the body we just, everyone assumed he died because of course it was like a missile strike and everything we just assumed he was gone but technically nobody really knows so maybe the dude will come back i kind of doubt it at this point you know as it goes further and further i doubt that he'll come back because there's a bunch of points but 
either way, I'm looking forward to this next one where it seems like it's going to be pretty intense where, you know, just everything's going wrong pretty much. Like, it's like, all right, we've been infiltrated. This is happening. That's happening. This huge plot is all going down at once. And I am curious if it's going to tie into the overarching story with, you know, like the secret organizations that we've dealt with, maybe some, you know, kind of last remaining members, or if this is going to be a brand new thing, because this seems bigger than just a one episode thing that doesn't tie into anything else. It seems like it's way too advanced and complicated for it to be like, yep, this was something that has nothing to do with any of the other storylines. It could be that way, of course, but ultimately we kind of just have to wait and see. But I thought this was definitely a good episode. I'm also excited for, um, them kind of going forward with Kirkman and what happened after he went to see the guy in prison and you know once again that being a part of this whole infiltration and somebody you know leaking this footage and people being mad at the president and it's like well you know he the guy killed his wife it was a drunk driver who killed his wife and it's like you know I want you to live every moment so you know exactly what you took from me you know my wife and the mother of my children my children's mother obviously so I'm curious how that'll play out. I mean, yeah, it's everybody's got a different opinion on everything. Because for me, I'd just be like, yeah, I mean, the dude killed his wife. Be angry. I mean, it's not like he beat the guy up. So, yeah, that would be one thing if the president just came in and just started welling on this guy. But it was like, he sat down and he talked to him and he's like, I'm glad you aren't hurt. I'm glad you can't be killed because I want you to suffer. Like, and that's, you know, that's how he feels. That's what he feels the guy deserves. And it's like, well, the dude was a drunk driver and he killed somebody. Being mad at him is not that big of a deal. But, yeah, you know, like I said, everybody thinks differently. So we'll see how that plays out uh, in the next episode as well. But definitely enjoyed this one, of course. Would love to know what you guys thought about it. So please comment below. Let me know your favorite parts about it, least favorite parts about it. And I definitely want to know your theories on this whole infiltration thing. Like, what's going to happen there? Is it going to be tied to the main story? Do you guys think it'll be just, it's you know, a one episode thing? It's just going to be a huge event. And then it just happens to be totally unrelated to anything else. I feel like it has to be related. I mean, they go after uh forstall like he's running out of a building and it blows up them you know showing the footage of kirkman uh talking to the guy a bunch of other stuff seemed to be going wrong and then we have whatever random information is about to come up from damien i'm like i feel like all this stuff has to be tied together it's got to be some big thing it can't just be yeah this just popped up and it's one episode and then it's gone it's like i feel like that's the type of thing that is going to connect back to something or some character that you know maybe we haven't seen in a minute or something like that so i think it's going to be a big deal but We'll love to know your theories on it, what you guys thought about this episode in general. Um, this will be my last review until the season finale, unless something like super insane happens. If the guy comes back to life and, you know, that's an official thing, I probably will just do a, a video on that. It might not be a full review, but I'll probably do a video like, oh, you know, I've been waiting, and of course he comes back. So if he comes back in the next episode, uh, maybe it'll just be like a full review. But unless that specific thing happens or something else absolutely insane happens, uh, this will be my last review until we get to the uh, season finale. But like I said, definitely want to know what you guys thought about this one. So please comment below. Let me know. And thanks for watching.